What's up, YouTube? Donut the Flygon here. That's a Flygon named Donut. And today I'm going to be doing a team analysis over a team that I took to a second place Swiss finish at a premiere challenge and a place or er, fifth place overall. So, unfortunately, I lost in top eight due to some questionable hacks. But uh, it was really nice. I, it was my first premiere challenge, so I was really happy just to make it second after Swiss and fifth overall that was really awesome so we're just gonna jump right into the team here so we've got mega kangaskhan of course mega kangaskhan the premier mega evolution of the 2014 bgc format uh you know he's just he's just really broken i wanted to run my kangaskhan a bit differently some people like to run him uh super bulky not very fast you know i wanted to just go for the you know, all out speed, make sure I can outspeed every other Kangaskhan, undoubtedly. Uh, I thought that would be a really key element to this Kangaskhan. And my EVs pretty much were only just for the um, being able to outspeed other Kangaskhan, fake out them, and then after the fake out, go for a double edge, and the double edge plus fake out KOing most Kangaskhans. So uh, I invested enough attack just to be able to do that and put the rest in HP. Uh, there's also some nice other things this Kangaskhan can um, can do with the CV spread, so I'll put that right below my video here. Alright, so then I also decided to run Mega Lucario. I think Mega Lucario is a really, 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 really awesome Pokemon. Obviously really amazing because, you know, Small Gun Band as well, in addition to the, the Kangaskhan. But the cool thing about this Lucario is, so I just went, you know, the standard route, 252 special attack, 252 uh, speed with a jolly nature, or timid nature, and, um, you know, he obviously has a ton of power with adaptability, uh, and, uh, yeah, I decided to run the uh, special variant of Lucario, mainly because uh, of Intimidate, Will-O-Wisp, you know, all that physical hate was running around in the 2014 metagame. So, uh, I got Flash Cannon, really, really awesome move for taking out uh, Fairy Pokemon. Not, it can't take out Sylveon, unfortunately, but pretty much every other Fairy type is going to one-hit KO uh, that doesn't have a crazy amount of special defense like Sylveon has. And then Vacuum Wave for the priority, it does, uh, I'm pretty sure, 50% to Mega Kangaskhan, which is insane. Uh, protect, you know, gotta run Protect on those squishy Pokemon. And Follow Me. Follow Me is something that's really awesome because it catches so many people off guard they don't expect it you have to get a little bit of breed work in to be able to run it but it's definitely worth it uh it's really awesome for steel types you know uh so i decided to run two megas because i felt like they did different things you know king is going to give fake out pressure and just really strong physical attacker lucario is a really great special attacker with this spread and uh their typing is different you know normals uh, normal and steel fighting Alright, so then we got Sylveon. For this Sylveon, I decided to run a uh, Citrus Berry variant so I can get off more Hyper Voices rather than stronger Hyper Voices. I'm probably going to switch to the Specs variant because you see below uh, for those those damage calcs that uh, Sylveon without Specs misses a lot of really important KOs and, or damage ratios that it needs to get, you know. So I'm probably going to switch to Specs, I recommend it, but the Citrus Berry variant is really good too. Uh, it makes sure that Sylveon is super bulky, can take up a lot of hits before it goes down. So, obviously the super standard Sylveon spread for a spread that isn't choice, which is uh, Helping Hand Protect Hyper Voice Shadow Ball. There pretty much isn't any other way to go. You know, Sylveon doesn't, like most evolutions, they don't get that big of a move pool. So, running Helping Hand, uh, you know, Helping Hand's just a great standard move in doubles. Uh, Protect, you know, obviously. And Hyper Voice, even more obvious. And then Shadow Ball actually gives really good coverage. Fairy and Ghost is actually really great coverage. And then for the spread, you can see some of the damage calcs below for the spread. Uh, I wanted to give it some, some good defense, you know, because 65 defense is extremely low. It's got that good 95 HP, and of course, it's special defense. You don't need to worry about that. It's so powerful. And then I wanted to max out in its special attack because I'm not running the specs. I want to make sure I can get as much damage as possible out. Uh, so yeah, I thought 
After my calcs, I thought the 100 defense and 156 HP was really good. Obviously, uh, EV spreads are going to be different for everybody, but, you know, see what you see what you like. If you want to try out the spread, you definitely can. Alright, so then, I ran a really weird road of wash. Uh, I decided to run an Assault Vest road of wash because it was already running Citrus Berry on Sylvia. So I ran a Assault Vest road of wash because most of the attacks that road of wash is going to take are special. Uh, with Volt Switch, Electro Web, Thunderbolt, and Hydro Pump. I actually never used Volt Switch the entire tournament. I wouldn't recommend running it. Uh, so I would actually recommend maybe Foul Play instead. Volt Switch is still really great though, so you can run either one. And then Electro Web was actually amazing. I really like the speed control moves. I see winning Electro Web. Uh, so that was great. And then Thunderbolt, obviously, and Hydro Pump, obviously. Pretty standard. The CV spread, you can see some of the calcs below. It's just all around good tankiness, and it's got a lot of special attack investment because uh, you don't have to invest as much in special defense uh, because of the Assault Fest. And then for the speed, I just ran 12 to make sure I can outspeed uh, Ronan Washes that invest 8 into speed, you know? Because some Ronan Washes invest 4 into speed to outspeed uh, no investment Ronan Washes, and some invest uh, 8 to outspeed those, and I invest 12 to outspeed the 8s. So, yeah. Other than the Assault Fest, pretty standard Ronan Wash and these two moves. <sighs> yeah, so with the Solfus, unfortunately you can't run a Willowis, but that's okay, because I'll get to that later. Alright, so then we got the extremely, extremely, extremely standard Garchomp that everybody has seen. Uh, this Garchomp doesn't really need explanation. It's a Garchomp with Rust Skin, Lumberry, Earthquake, Rock Slide, Dragon Claw, Protect, 252 Attack, 252 Speed, Jolly, and 4 HP. Alright, and then I ran a Support Talonflame. I highly, highly, highly recommend everybody try out Support Talonflame. It's so good. It's so much fun to use. Uh, I really, really, really think it's great. So, I just run, I decided to run Swagger instead of Quick Guard. Personally, I didn't want to go through the breeding of Quick Guard. I have enough time. But, definitely try out Quick Guard. I think it's really good with Talonflame. But, I ran Swagger on this team because I can Swagger my own Garchomp, get the plus 2 boost, and then Lumberry off of the Confusion. It's pretty nice. And then, uh, so, yeah, I ran Swagger. Brave Bird, obviously, you gotta have the Brave Bird. Uh, Tailwind, you know, also priority, so if they hit you for a super effective attack, bring you down to your Sash, you can get a free Tailwind up and then die happy. <laughs> so, that's pretty nice. And then will o -Wisp, you know, Talonflame super, super fast. Doesn't even need a plus speed nature, honestly. With 126 base speed, that's insane. Uh, so I just put 252 into speed, 252 attack, uh, adamant nature, and the 4 in HP. Got that will wisp for physical hate, because you gotta have physical hate in the 2014 VGC metagame. And then the tailwind, like I explained, Brave Bird, gotta have it on Talon Flame, and Swagger. Gotta be careful with the Brave Bird sometimes to not um, break your Sash, make sure you can you can get away with breaking your Sash. But Sash is really awesome on Talon Flame, I highly recommend trying out the support Talon Flame. Alright guys, so thank you so so much for checking out this uh, team analysis. It was so fun to go to the Premier Challenge with this team. I'm definitely going to have more content. I also top aided another Premier Challenge with a 2015 team. If you want to see VGC 2015 content, definitely subscribe. Check that out. Uh, this is a new channel I'm going to be posting very regularly. I'm getting a capture, capture card, 3DS, uh, in the mail very, very shortly. So expect a uh, in-game team analysis next time. This team I uh, performed with a, a little while back, so I don't actually have the team put together exactly like this still. So that's why I chose Showdown. Uh, there might be other Showdown things in the future, but uh, mostly just going to be on that 3DS capture card. Alright guys, so thank you so so much for watching, if you want to see more of my content, you can subscribe, and peace.